Hello everyone. This morning I am at the Dumas Bay Wildlife Sanctuary in Federal Way to introduce you to our next lab. This is a pretty small wildlife sanctuary. It's only about 20 acres and it has this short little trail that's about a quarter mile through the woods to get to a small stretch of Puget Sound waterfront. So I'm going to take you down there and show you what I've been up to this year. The data that you're going to be working with has been collected by me throughout 2021. So it started at the beginning of this year when I set a goal for myself of removing 1,000 pieces of marine debris from beaches. And that's a combination of visiting the outer coast, the Pacific Ocean beaches, and usually, unfortunately, on those beaches, it's pretty easy to pick up a couple hundred pieces of debris whenever I visit. So I've done that a few times, but then also this is the closest beach to where I live. So I visited this beach many times throughout the year. And every time I come, I walk the beach, this short little stretch of beach, and I look for pieces of debris to clean up. And when I come, I find between zero and I think the max is about 20 pieces of debris, but it changes all the time. And so that got me to wondering what accounts for those changes. Could it be that there's a certain day of the week that I find more pieces of debris? Or does it change based on the month of the year? Or does it change based on the number of days since I last visited and cleaned up this beach? Um, or maybe it even depends on tidal height. So whether the tide was high or low since I last, uh, before my visit that day. Okay, so to summarize, the data set that I initially started collecting really by accident was kind of my observation. My observation was that the number of pieces that I find on each visit changes. And my question was, why does it change? And then I've come up with a few hypotheses as to what might account for the differences. So what you are going to do is look at the data set and see if you can answer those questions. I have just arrived at the end of the path, so let me show you around this beach. What a beautiful October morning. Okay, I want to point out over here, there's a signpost that says park boundary and these signposts continue out past, um, past the high tide line into the low tide zone. Beyond that is private property. So this stretch that I'm on right now is the public beach and you can see that the tide is pretty low today. Um, up here, these seaweed lines mark the, the recent high tides. And then if I scan over, you can see the set of posts here at the other end of the beach that mark um, public versus private property. So this stretch of beach that the public has access to is pretty small, but this is where I've been coming to collect the data. When I sample, I'm always walking along the high tide lines and you can see this is actually a time of year in late summer and early fall when there's quite a lot of washed up seaweed on the beach. In another month or two, this will be almost completely clear and it'll just be all sand and rocks. Um, but I always watch the, walk the same length of beach from one end to the other, so the, the entire stretch of public property. Um, I always come in the morning because that's when I like to go for walks. I, what else? I focus on plastic debris. I try to pick up all the plastic I can find. Um, I think that's it.
when I am finished with my walk, um, you can probably see right back behind me here, there's a trash can. So I just drop everything in the trash can and then head back.